Hey guys, so my name is Nazi, and today I'm gonna be sharing that how we can integrate guest book in our website just like I have integrated in my website so that we can ask anyone to sign it and then we can showcase the signature on our website. So let's get started. Uh, for this tutorial purpose, I have developed this uh, starter kit boilerplate kind of thing, which has all the packages already added in our a project so that we don't need to install it manually again and uh, so yeah just uh, clone it locally you can also uh, click this button use this template and fork your own uh, guest book and then uh, set up that locally so let's clone it As we have cloned it now, let's just go to that directory and open it in VS Code. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Chakra UI as a UI library, uh, Wagmi uh, as a Web3 hooks and Rainbow Kit for Connect Wallet. So as we have uh, all things uh, set up, so let's install node modules in it. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm using uh, Yarn. You can use any of a uh, package manager of your choice like npm pnpm any of the package manager so yeah let's get started also uh, for storing our uh, messages uh, like this uh, i'm gonna be using superbase uh, to store our message and all the signers so uh, let's just go to superbase and set up a table and schema uh, for our guest book so just go to app.superbase.com and create a project i have already created one so i'm not gonna create it again so create one project and go to the table editor and in the table editor you can see that i have already uh, one table created for me uh, so i'm just gonna create a new table and i'm gonna give it name guest book tutorial and in this table there will be uh, we will be requiring four fields namely signer uh, message and then uh, created at which will be the timestamp at which they have signed a message uh, and i guess yeah uh, that would be the uh, fields will be requiring so yeah signer and type for that would be a string so here mm -hmm. we'll use text and I'm going to assign it as a primary key because we only require uh, any person to sign our message once uh, once only. So uh, I'm going to declare it as a primary key. Then we have this timestamp and another column will be message. Again, message will be uh, text. And yeah, another column I forgot to mention was uh, signature which will uh which, which will get from the metamask so yeah again uh, data type for that will be text so yeah just create a table now let's just wait for this to create table until then uh, let's just initialize superbase uh, locally for that we'll need to install this package so let's just go ahead and do that uh, node install uh, I'll be um, uh, putting all these links in the description so that uh, you don't need to find it anywhere else so as we have uh, installed superbase so let's just go ahead and initiate its instance locally so in go to the project folder uh, project and in the pages folder create a new directory api and in that create a new file superbase or let's say uh, db.ts yeah again i'll be using typescript uh, for this tutorial yeah so let's just follow superbase docs and yeah uh, we also uh, will be requiring to create dot env file dot env dot local where we'll be storing all our credentials so yeah uh, 
copy that and paste it over here uh, you will find this superbase url by uh, going over here uh, in settings in api you will find uh, stuff over that like url you can just copy and paste over here and anon key you will find it over here you can just paste it over here and we are good to go so yeah let's just create a superbase client to use superbase locally so just copy and paste it over here yeah so uh, we have now set up our superbase locally so uh, let's just go and set up uh, boil, uh, set up things for, uh, which will require for our guest book so head on to index.tsx also uh, i have uh, already uh, set up this rainbow wallet and wagmi uh, provider thing uh, for this project we, uh, if you wanna uh, know that how we can set this up from the scratch then there is a really good tutorial by neither i'll be putting that link in the description below so that you can check it out so yeah let's just go ahead and set up the guest list so first thing first which will be requiring is the sign my guest book button so just go ahead and do that and we're changing with this box and uh, first thing which will be requiring is i guess a button which will show sign my guest book sign my guest book and yeah and another thing that uh, which will be requiring that we as as we are storing all our guest data on superbase so we'll require that whenever uh, the page loads we fetch all those data and display it on our website so let's just go ahead and set up that function uh, uh, which will fetch the data from superbase so uh, for that also you can uh, follow this uh, superbase docs uh, i'll be uh, putting that link in the description below so that go ahead and uh, set up the function first of all we don't be requiring to export this superbase client uh, set up the function export constant fetch entries and async uh, so superbase dot from now in from we have to enter our table name so our table name is uh, guest book tutorial now from here we need to select star and now uh, we need to order that on the basis of timestamp at which they have signed our guest book so i'm gonna order it by this uh, created at field and here data and error and just return this data and error now as we have uh, defined this function so let's just go and uh, fetch all the data in our index.tsx file so i'm gonna be define export gets uh, constant get server side props is asynchronous function and i am gonna be fetch fetching entries over here fetch entries and i'll be getting data oh wait we need to first await over here data and error so now if uh, we'll get error then 
will be returning error otherwise just return props and entries oh, wait entries data that's great uh, also if we have error then this console.log error error while fetching data or let's say entries now just uh, start our server So we are not getting any error. Also, we are we uh, not able to understand that whether we are fetching any entries or not. So uh, let's just go and console log entries from here. Uh, console dot log entries. Yeah, so we can see that we are getting empty array. It is because that we don't have any data over here so let's just go and uh, add a sign in message function so that we can store something over here so yeah uh, first of all define one function so that uh, we have uh, we can sign the message and store it on our database i'm gonna name it handle sign message This function will be asynchronous. Yeah, so first thing first, we need to uh, see that whether uh, the uh, current user has connected wallet or not. So for that, we will be uh, we will be checking if that user has connected. So uh, for that, we'll be using a hook from Wagmi, which is uh, use connect hook. Uh, and from here we'll be fetching is connected uh, variable which uh, which will show us that whether the current user is connected or not so we are checking here that if not is connected then we'll just show our toast message we need to first define that toast over here use toast or something like this now we'll be showing toast dot uh, or toast description please connect wallet first then we can uh, we need to now uh, show the duration and also the status status is error and duration will be thousand milliseconds uh, for this time duration our toast message will be shown now just return from here so let's just uh, try and see if this works uh, so I'm gonna be assigning uh, uh, this function on click uh, handle sign message yeah so uh, you all might be wondering that from where I am using this uh, uh, guest book uh, header and this connect button so I have uh, defined uh, those things in this uh, layout folder in layout.tsx and here I am using connect button from rainbow kit it internally manages all this thing like copy address disconnect again connect wallet you can use any of the wallet uh, if you want I am using metamask yeah so uh, you can configure network over here 
in uh, app.tsx file uh, I am only allowing mainnet so I need to switch to mainnet over here yeah here we go so yeah uh, again behind the same rainbow is you saying wag me only so you don't need to worry about this hook use connect hook because it uh, all will be taken care of by wag me itself so let's just try signing the message yeah so it is connected so it won't uh, throw me error yeah so please connect wallet first it is throwing me error now as we uh, now what if like if our user has connected their wallet and wants to sign a message so let's just go and define a message so mess message uh, well message equals to i am using message as gm you can use any of the message you want like you can also uh, use a dynamic message by allowing user to enter message and then asking them to sign the custom message and then storing in the database it is up to you you can uh, do whatever the stuff you want to you you would like to do so now let's just ask user to sign the message now uh, for this uh, message uh, signing message uh, i'll be using a wagme hook so signature is equals to first of all let's just go and uh, abstract that hook that hook is equals to use sign message now in that i'm gonna be using use sign uh, sign message async is equals to await sign message async uh, you can uh, you need to pass over here uh, the message whichever uh, you want the, your user to sign now uh, this is the signature uh, that will be getting from the metamask when the user clicks that confirm button and now we'll be storing this in our database so that we can show uh, uh, showcase that uh, this person has signed uh, this uh, signed this message now First of all, we need to check that uh, the, uh, the signature uh, has successfully signed by the user. So for that, we'll be keeping one check over here. If not signature, then just display the toast message. Signature failed, status error, perfect. And just return from here, otherwise, uh, if the signature uh, is done, uh, signed successfully, then we will need to store that in our database. But for that, we first need to define uh, the method uh, for uh, method to store it in our database. So let's just go and uh, define one method in our db.ts. So for that, define one method export constant, and I'm going to be naming this function sign message. uh async to and now what will be the fields that will be requiring over here uh if you remember that in our table uh we uh we have uh, uh four fields basically signature signer message and created it but uh, the created ad has the default value of now so it will be uh, it will be optional we don't necessarily uh, need to pass it so that remains three things uh, signer signer would be uh, of type string another thing will be message again that will be of type string and another thing will be uh, signature perfect uh, github uh, copilot uh, just gave it correctly and sign a message signature and yeah just return from here data and 
error all right so just use it over here and just store all the values in our database so once we have our signature then await sign message and uh, we are expected to pass the arguments uh, let's just keep an eye like in what order we'll need to pass signer signer is the current uh, user who has logged in so signer will be uh, current user so we'll get current user from the use account hook from wagmi data and data dot address will be the current user and yeah uh, message and signature uh, data and error oh we need to name it differently uh, account data now it is happy so yeah so now if uh, data and not error manual di uh, display toast message signature success or uh, let's say signed successfully or if we have uh, the error then signature failed so let's just go ahead and test this so let's just go and hard reload it so first sign my message it is perfectly showing error message connect wallet and after connecting my wallet sign my message so you can see that gm which i entered a message over here is getting displayed over here this is my current connected wallet so let's just sign over here so you can see signed successfully but you can see that we are not getting any of the entries displayed over here also we have we are not getting any data that is because that we are only fetching the entries whenever our page loads so we need something that don't uh, that don't exactly reloads the page just makes a uh, server side props runs again run again so what we are gonna do uh, will be uh, doing router dot replace first we need to define router over here so we have router over here and if everything is success then router dot replace uh, router dot as path so what it will do it will uh, make our get server side props run again so that we'll have uh, the new entries also we can check in our database by refreshing it that we should have one entries over here here we go we have signer over here signature over here and message created at timestamp and all the stuff as we expected so uh, let's just reload it all right so we can see that we have our uh, and as a one entry getting logged in the console so let's just go and now uh, display this guest uh, guest list or we or we can say uh, signatures over here for that uh, we need to create one component uh, i'm gonna name it guest message Uh, just message uh, 
now uh, we will be requiring a user address to show here so i am expecting that as a props and its type will be string return uh, i'm be using flex over here and one more thing that i am going to be using over here is uh, blockies uh, react to blockies you can uh, go search for that and just install it I'm just going to install it. Alright, so as we have installed, now let's just uh, use it over here. First of all, we need to import it. Import from wait from react blockies you can follow the documentation it is saying blockies directly now we can just use it and over here we can uh, display address happening cannot find name address yeah so let's just use this guest message component in our uh, index.tsx file also for that we need to use uh, our entries uh, props which are which uh, we are receiving from here entries dot map again uh, same thing guest message and here we'll be requiring uh, address is equals to data uh, or let's say and entry dot signer uh, let's just save it and have a look server is running all right so you can see that we have a nice cool looking blocky and also the user address uh, now another thing that we don't need to uh, show the user address uh, something as big so what we are gonna do we are will use instead of this e, uh, whole uh, address we will be using ens so for that also we will be using uh, hooks from wagmi so it should be used ens name and here will pass address and from here we'll get data that is our ens name also uh, we'll be displaying something like this what if someone don't have ens then also we don't need to display the whole address over here so what we'll do uh, we'll use something called uh, truncated address so truncated address substring plus address dot substring good to go uh, all right so first uh, translate it to string seems like it is not happy Oh, 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 I missed something over here. Yeah, now we are good to go. 
so what we'll use here instead of address we'll use truncated address and also uh, some uh, good uh, design css align item center and gap 2 all right so we are good to go it is looking nice and also margin 2 and also what we can do is uh, we can use a uh, background color white smoke and color black and with fit content yeah that looks nice also let's just give some padding cool it is looking nice and instead of uh, having this hole in the cent uh, left side just let's just uh, bring all these things at center for that i'll use ver vertical stack seems nice so this is how we can integrate a guestbook in a website and also we can do a lot of things on top of this like uh, uh, show a custom message over here here i am not showing any kind of message you can show uh, and, uh, and uh, use accordion to show your message and a lot of crazy stuff can happen on top of that so yeah thanks for watching and you should if, if you have any doubt you can contact me on twitter my twitter handle is nazi21 and i'll be happy to answer